Monarch Butterfly by Gail Gibson. A monarch butterfly set, settles on a leaf of a milkweed plant. She gently presses a tiny egg to one of the leaves. The egg is the beginning of another monarch butterfly. It's summertime in the north. A breeze stirs the stem of a milkweed plant. The monarch egg is white, white and shiny. It is the size of a small dot and sticks to the leaf. When the butterfly lays the egg, she makes it sticky. Wind and rain cannot make the egg come loose. In a few days, the egg hatches. Out crawls a small caterpillar, also called a larva. First, the caterpillar eats the eggshell and then chews away at the milkweed leaf. The egg of a monarch is almost always laid on a milkweed plant. The plant will be its food. The caterpillar eats and grows and begins to change. It breaks out of its old skin, showing a new skin underneath. This is called molting. For two weeks, the caterpillar eats and eats. It molts about five times. Finally, it is a full-grown monarch caterpillar about two inches long. Now something wonderful begins to happen. The caterpillar creeps to the stem of a leaf. It attaches itself to the stem and drops down head first. The caterpillar's bright colors become greenish. The skin splits and moves up top. The skin falls off and a strange new form appears. It is called a chrysalis or a pupa. The chrysalis is like a blanket that is wrapped around the body growing inside. At first, the chrysalis is long and soft, then it shrinks and hardens, and becomes light green, decorated with gold dots. Inside, a monarch butterfly begins to grow. But two weeks later, the chrysalis changes again. It turns gray-green before becoming transparent. Inside are white dots and orange and black lines. The chrysalis wiggles, then it splits open. The butterfly begins to pull itself out. The head and legs appear first and then the rest of it slides out. The wings are tiny and stuck together, and the butterfly's abdomen is big. The abdomen becomes smaller when the fluid is pumped into the wings, and the butterfly's wings become bigger. The caterpillar is turned into a butterfly. This is called a metamorphosis. The butterfly sits quietly for a few hours, waiting for its wings to dry and harden. At last, they begin to move slowly and then beat faster and faster. The butterfly flies up towards the sky, Monarchs have a bad taste and will make a bird or animal sick if they're eaten, so most of them are left alone. There are many parts to a butterfly. The feelers or antennas are for touch and smell. The proboscis is a mouth. That's the tube that uses to suck up nectar from flowers. This is the thorax. There's its legs. It has an abdomen, wings, and there are scales on the wings that make up all the colors. The monarch butterfly only flies during the day. When it rains, the butterfly stays dry and hides under leaves. Fall is on its way. Soon it will be cold. If the monarch butterfly doesn't fly south, it will die. Once again, it darts up into the sky. The butterfly will take a long trip to a warmer place. This is called migration. The monarch butterfly will fly where its ancestors have always gone, sometimes to the very same tree. Other monarchs keep appearing, making a cloud of orange in the sky. At night, they rest in the trees. Sometimes they will fly up to 12 miles an hour, and almost 100 miles in one day. There could be over a thousand butterflies traveling together. They fly to places such as Florida, Southern Cal California, and Mexico. Some butterflies migrate 4,000 miles. They will stay south throughout the winter. Some towns and cities are proud to have butterflies visit them. They have festivals to celebrate their arrival. Children dress up for parades in the butterfly costumes. Sometimes there's a band and visitors come from all around the world. Monarchs can cluster together. Thousands of them cling to one tree, a butterfly tree. In the spring, these butterflies will migrate north again to the fields of the milkweed plant. The end.